Hello everyone, this is Nia Terrence and welcome back to another of my Pika card. In this Pika card, we're going to figure it out, do they love me or not? This was a Pika card requested by many of you guys. It's also for the people that ask me, do, are they going to choose me or the other person? And I thought, it, it doesn't matter if you're single, if this is a crush, let's see what comes up quickly through the cards so I get your answers. So right now you need to choose between group number one, two, three or four. Choose with your guts, pause the video if you need, keeping in mind that this is a general reading. So take only what resonates with you and I hope it does so I can guide you and give you the answers that you need. So okay, do they love me or not? Are they going to choose me or not? Let's figure it out for those of you who choose group number one. Okay, we have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Page of Wands, so Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Regardless of the sign, this indicates that this is a long-distance relationship. You are stalkering in a good way, I don't mean in a bad way. Their Instagram, social media, you're always watching what they're doing. And uh, with the page of wands, it looks like is the, this person is a foreigner or simply they're just far away from you. At the moment, with the pages, uh, it means that they don't fully, uh, they're not, they don't fully say that they love you, but they are aware of the connection. This could potentially be very much a soulmate or a twin soul with the page of wands, especially in the sacred feminine tarot. And to me, it indicates still though, the situation might be quite stagnant. And that's why you're always looking at what they're doing because you, you just want to be with them, but nothing seems to happen. Then we have start delegating. This is an indication, a green Tara, that you should focus on something else for the moment. I'm not saying that they don't love you necessarily, but these cards are very stagnant. There isn't a strong indication that yes, you're gonna be together or yes, they're gonna choose you. I think they are very much confusion and so therefore they are putting you in confusion too. So start delegating, it's like, Give it to the universe, guys. Give it to your goddess, your favorite goddess. Say, look, I don't know what to do with this person anymore. If it's, this is really meant to be, like, is this is really my twin soul, let it happen. Otherwise, I have all the right to be free. And this is something that obviously Green Tara is suggesting. Ask the universe to help you. Then we have the honeymoon card. The honeymoon card from the Angel Romance Oracle deck to me indicates that you are going to do that trip. You are going to visit them because eventually they are going to ask you to see each other. So that's a very good sign right there that indicates to enjoy the time of holiday together or to enjoy especially this time of holiday of holidays and you know just retreat and be like you know what I did it all if you're still being stagnant don't be that page of swords that creeps out and uh, you know follows everything and watches everything that they do just leave them be because I don't see consciously that they're going to tell you they love you they're just putting on standby and to be honest if they don't care I want to be very straightforward they're a jerk <laughs> so they don't they don't need your attention but I want to be positive because we have the honeymoon card so it means that there is potential for this relationship to evolve in the future right now just leave it, leave it be it's not worth it I know I'm very straightforward I know I'm very quick but this is your answer okay Let's see for those of you guys who choose group number two. Do they love you? Are they going to choose you? We're going to figure it out. Again, I'm going to be quick. I'm going to be straightforward. We have the fool, interesting, taking a leap of faith, and the eight of wands. Definitely, yes, they do love you. For them, it's a leap of faith. You, again, could be that you are far away from each other because this eight of wands, eight of wands is fast communication, victory, all the jazz, number eight, number of infinity, possible soulmate, twin soul. This is a new connection. I cause I'm saying this potentially could be far away because if you look at the picture, this man is alone in the desert and there is a woman in the star. So this relationship was really in the stars. It was fate that brought the two of you guys together. You know this and you're just asking for a validation and I'm giving that to you. Yes, they do love you. Things are going to get quicker. Just jump and take the leap of faith. Stop being so insecure. You're beautiful. 
they want you, it's going to happen. Then we have Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do, trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Exactly like I'm saying, you know what to do, so do it. Do it, take that tra train ticket, take the airplane ticket, take the car, however, whatever it takes to be with this person. Yes, this person is gonna choose you. They're gonna take that leap of faith. Yes, you know what to do. You have this inner knowing. You could be a Pisces, by the way, too. And the angels are saying romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So definitely this is a reciprocate love, even though it can be a new connection. And yes, they are going to choose you. They choose you even in past life, if you believe it or not, and they are always going to choose you. Trust your inner knowing, you did know this. Okay, how cool. Let's move on. I told you I was going to be very, very quick because that's how I do sometimes. You know, you don't need to talk that much to understand the meaning of the card. So let's jump for those of you who choose group number three. Do they love me or, love me or not? Are they going to choose me or not? We have the five of wands and the chariot. Well, the five of wands indicates their fight has been going on. Some blood has been shed. <laughs> Like, I mean, obviously that's gross, but it's just saying that the five of wands indicates competition, indicates pity argument, so stay strong. The chariot indicates that this relationship is going to move forward, even though they don't seem that they choose you, this is a cancer energy, they are. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be involved, especially a Leo with that picture. I think that regardless of the arguments, if you're staying strong and stay on your ground, yes, they are going to reciprocate. Yes, they have strong feelings for you. I see this relationship moving on very triumphantly. We have Freya, boldness. Unless your adventure sides, take a risk and be daring. Do you see how many feline images, how many cats and lions? Maybe Goddess Sekhmet, it's by, right behind your side. Even snakes in the picture and a lion in the figure of the chariot. Be the lioness, be the lion that roars and takes what it truly means. And you could be a Taurus too, by the way. Taurus are very good at getting what they want. You are gonna get what you want so be bold be brave just go out and tell them how you feel it's gonna be great yes they're going to reciprocate and also stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance this is something that you need to understand instead of focusing on the pity argument or focus on the fact that maybe you are right now in shaky grounds stay optimistic you know that if you've been bold enough to go out and tell this person that you really like them something good will happen if you are with this person don't worry about the argument it's going to be resolved you both guys are very fiery people that happens if this is uh, you're single and you're just click on this video because i know some of you are this means please keep staying optimistic Go out and date. Yes, you are going to find the person that you want. It's going to be passionate and it's going to be very bold. So you need to be bold too, right? Okay, so that's your answer. Thank you so much. Okay, let's jump for those of you guys who choose group number four. Do they love you back? Are they going to choose you? Let's figure it out. Again, I'm going to be straightforward. I'm going to be quick. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy, the Nine of Wands. To me, this indicates that you are in a committed relationship. The person that you were dealing with, maybe Aries, or Sagittarius, or Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or regardless of the sign, you're gonna have a new beginning with this person. If you, uh, basically what happened is, I think for those of you who choose group number four, you fought together, you split up, they started dating someone else or they started to be interested in someone else, they're gonna come back. With the nine of wands, they're gonna come back because they're gonna realize that they're just following their ego and not truly what they want and what they want is a new beginning with you. This is a reconciliation type of combination in my perspective, love that wins it all. Yes, this could be a twin soul type of connection. Then we have cycle and rhythms. 
honor the cycles of your body, energy levels and moments. This indicates that sometimes, you know, shit happens and people argue, people break up. That doesn't mean that that relationship wasn't right, but probably the time wasn't right. And so now you have a new door opening for you to be with this person. So honor the cycles of life, but honors every ending and every beginning. Some of you guys said this is an ending of a relationship. Don't even worry about it. You are going to find quickly right away somebody better that actually really understands your soul and your shadows and is willing to put up with them because love is also that. Love is not just WWE, oh, everything is fine, you're amazing. It's also putting up with the dark shadows of ourselves. And if a person that stands up for that shows up in your reality, open the door because that person is truly what you need right now. This is about new beginnings. So, however, it resonates with you, if it resonates with an ending, a new beginning, this is the reading for you. So, honor the cycle and rhythm of life. Again, every, every ending, there is a new beginning whether this is a new love or a reconciliation. Then we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. That's why I was mentioning reconciliation. This relationship, even though it might seem that it ended, needs effort. So don't give up on this person, give this your relationship a chance, you guys are going to win over the things that brought you apart. You were meant to win and you're still meant to walk a bit of lifetime still together. So work on your partnership and give this person a chance. Okay, guys, I hope I was quick and straightforward and I really guided you and helped you in you answering this question if they were coming back to you or did they love you and all of that jazz. Keep in mind, again, this was a general reading. Subscribe to the channel to have more and comment down below to share your stories because I love to read them and also giving me advice for other pico cards that you want to see in the future. I'm always happy to answer your requests. Follow me on Instagram at Cleopatra Witch to have more of the Nia vision world and keep in mind, you're never wrong if you follow love. Bye, guys.